So in this video I just wanted to give you an insight into how I've been using the Kodak Play Touches to bring you uh, some of the reviews you've been seeing that have been recorded with them. Now you can see here I've got the Kodak Play Touch on a tripod. Now there is a standard tripod mount on the bottom of the camera so this means I can get it on a nice sort of sturdy platform. And I've got it angled slightly down because I'm doing a product review. You can see the camera I'm reviewing here. And you'll have also noticed that during uh, some of my product reviews I've been telling you that I've been recording with the Kodak Play Touch and also mentioning which microphone I've been using. Now in some videos I've been using the internal microphone, so the built-in microphone. And this little microphone you can see mounted here is the Sony clone microphone that I've been referring to. Let me just unplug that, give you a closer look. So this is the, um, the Sony clone mic and when I say clone you can buy these uh, as an original Sony product and I don't know the exact price but probably around about the 30 to 40 pound mark or you can get these cheap sort of copies and these are under 10 pounds and they do an absolutely fantastic job and when you plug those into the top of the Kodak Play Touch, it asks you whether you want to use that input as a microphone or a headphone well obviously I'm going to select microphone there now also throughout the reviews you've been seeing that I've been recording with these Kodak Playtouch cameras I'll, I'll have um, actually changed the lighting when I first started recording with these I was struggling a lot with low light situations it didn't behave very well in those low light situs so as well as my normal uh, studio light which is currently off to the right hand side of my camera you can see me waving my hand in front of it to affect the lighting I've also been using uh, some additional lighting. I'll try not to blind you. Let's just turn this lighting down a bit. And, and these are some LED uh, video lights. They've got a little uh, sort of scrolly wheel on the side here. And they actually mount onto a tripod mount, or sorry, a hot shoe mount. And you can get adapters so you can put them on tripods as well. And they've got adjustable brightness. So I sort of shine this down onto the product and I can increase the intensity of the light or lower it and I found that while I was using these Kodak Play Touches the additional lighting I've actually ordered another one of these uh, studio lights uh, has really helped a lot and, and they're not that expensive you can get one of these these are 126 LEDs in here um, and you can pick these up for around about the 35 to 40 pound mark which I think is fantastic value for money and as I mentioned when that's shining down onto the product you, it does improve the quality that the Kodak Play Touch records by a great amount. You do need to light your product properly if you're using this little camera for product reviews. So I hope that's given you a little insight into how I've been uh, using the Kodak Play Touches for my product reviews. Um, I'm going to continue testing them and I will be introducing a few more reviews using different microphones. You can hear an improvement on sound quality. And I'll also show you another video or two with the additional LED studio lights, so with some, some really uh, extra strong and extra bright studio lighting as well. Well, thanks very much for watching. Please come back soon and check out more videos on the Geek Noise channel. This video review is sponsored by BMI Solutions, the largest reseller of document scanners within the UK, with a price promise guarantee.